Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, this is a bit of an impromptu one because I've been searching today. It is it is one of my uh, two days off at the end of the week, and we have half term next week. So I was like, yeah, do you know what? As a hobbyist, I thought, you know what? I might go and buy a new model. And do you know what? I'm going to throw Games Workshop a bone here. I'm going to go on and just see if I can buy a model that I've really wanted for a while. Just to see if I can buy it. And as you can probably tell by the nature of this video, that was a non-starter because of random bullshit false rarity that Games Workshop likes to put these days. Do you remember back in the day? Do you remember back in the day when you would go into a Games Workshop and you could just think of a model that you wanted and you could just pick it up off the shelf and take it to the cash register and buy it? And that person would be very happy to see you walk away with your favourite model in your hand, ready to paint it because they wanted to enthuse you in the hobby. They wanted to keep you in the hobby. They wanted you to build the hobby by having these really cool models, yeah? Remember that? Well, fuck you. That's not what we do anymore. Because what we do now is we do false rarity. We make our models so rare that you have to buy them as soon as they come out. Or you can't buy them. Fuck you, peasant. What do you mean you didn't have the money at the time? You didn't have the money at the time, and they pick you up, they turn you upside down, they shake you so all your money comes out. Where's the money? Where's the money, peasant? Where's the money? Yeah, well, I didn't have any fucking money at the time. No, I do. I want my Garen Crow model. I want my fucking Garen Crow model. Where is it? I don't want that one. I don't want the top one. Bollocks. I want the bottom one. Where is he? He's in the Hexfire box set. Whoa, where's the Hexfire? I don't want any of the models in the Hexfire box set. I just want this model. Right? And I just... Oh, God. Okay, so, calm down. Calm down. <clears throat> I've spoken about this before, and I hate it. I hate false rarity. I'm just going to, like... Literally, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you onto my browser right now. Um, You know. Uh, Garen Crow model. Right. Cool. So, let's do this. Because I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this. This, this is, this is beyond a joke now. This is beyond a joke. Right. Here is my. Uh, ignore the pawn. Here is my browser. So, I've been searching all morning for Garen Crow models. Obviously, we've got lots of lexicon. Whenever you see this, whenever you see like Garen Crow model, and the first thing is the Warmer community. Um, Saying, look, the Garen Crow model's out. Whee! The Garen Crow model's out. Yay! Garen Crow model's out. Yeah. yeah. Although it's not in any of the fucking boxes that you want. It's only in Dominion. So go and buy that for whatever price it was. God damn it. And in the meantime, buy some Green Light Purifiers. Yay! Green Light Purifiers. Yay, yay. No, it's just a strike squad. Because you never brought out the Purifiers as their own box set. You just lumped them in with the normal Green Lights, didn't you? Made dickheads like me convert our own bloody purifiers. Anyway, let's get back to this. Right, so whenever you see this, this this is a bad sign. Whenever you see law or articles turning up in the first couple of things, and that that is a uh, yeah. So, where can I buy him? Where can I buy him? Let's just see. New new Garen Crow model. Yeah, Bell of Lost Souls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazon. All right, which one is this? Oh. And even he's currently unavailable. Okay, fine. Like, it, it's just not doable, is what I'm saying. It's not doable. Like, you, you're just not, you, you'll get this. Things on Etsy selling for £92. For, and look at it. It's not even well painted, dude. It's, it's okay. I mean, look at it, though. Two thin coats, man. What is this? What is this? Like, if you put... So, Look, if this is your standard of painting, brilliant. Well done to you. But if you're selling this for £92 and scalping people, go fuck yourself. Right? This this is ridiculous. Like, £92. If you want Garen Crow, guys, say he's got a spear and get this guy. <clears throat> you know? If you want Garen Crow, just say he's got a spear and get this guy. Say he's got a force hull bird and there's your Garen Crow. Done. How beautiful is that? Turn his head to the side. I turn his head looking right. Or even replace his head with the one that you've got. You know, a grey knight one. And make it looking right. There you go. Guy and Crow, done. Because Games Workshop don't want to sell it, obviously. Because it, it it's not here. It's just Guy and Crow model for sale. What do we have? 
Knight Castellan, no, obviously. Castellan Crow on Etsy. £119 for the old model. Nicely painted, but the old model. £111 for the new model. Not very well painted. I think it's the same one as this one, to be honest with you. I, 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 ju I just cannot believe. Because this came out summer last year. This came out like like it was it was late summer last year, September or August. And it's not here. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's the book. It's the book. Look at me getting all excited. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I've got it. I've got it like one second. Yeah, so, so I, I can't I can't do this anymore. I've got to like come away from this. So again, it's not online. It's not online. And it and it's totally, totally, totally annoying. Look. And here's what I'm going to say about this. Games Workshop knows full well what they're doing here. Okay? Full well. They are releasing a model. Number one, the number one bullshit thing is, is Crow came in a box set that cost around £80. 80 to £100 pounds for the Hexfire box set. Right? So if you just wanted that Garen Crow model and you weren't interested in Thousand Sons, then you're shit out of luck, my friend. This model's going to cost you £80. Because remember what I told you a few weeks ago. What's more expensive? The models in the box or the box itself? The box itself is worth more than the models that are inside. The models that are inside are just plastic. Right? That's all they are. They're just plastic. I was literally told that during my training. Don't run after a shoplifter. Because they could have a knife on them. And hey, do you know how much that box is worth? You know what's worth more? The box that it comes in? Or the models inside. I said the models inside. No. No. The box is worth more. Okay. So what they're doing is. They're making sure you have to pay £80 to get the model you actually want. Are you telling me Thousand Sons players actually want Well, I, I, of course they did. Because they had a sorcerer in there, didn't they? That was kind of Garen Crow-ish, right? Primaris sized. And so they wanted to go and get that model. So, so they're gouging two halves of the hobby. That really want new models, especially Grey Knights, which we've still got models from 10, 15, 20 years ago, and it hasn't been updated. And I'm not the only army who who thinks this way. Eldar, Necrons, right? It's Tyranid, it's ridiculous. How long do people have to wait so you can release more bog standard space marines? It it's getting beyond a joke. And the fact that they put these models in boxes that they then charge £80 for. And 90% of that box, 95% of that box, you don't want. But fuck you, give us money. Because it doesn't cost them any more money to put more models in that box. It doesn't. So they're gouging you. They're taking your wallet and gouging it and saying, look. And beyond all and that's shitty enough. That is shitty enough. But beyond all that. Beyond all that. By the way, if you ever wanted to listen to what an entitled wargamer sounds like, just, you know, listen to this video. But anyway, beyond all that, the very fact that once that box set has run out, they then don't release the models on their own. And when they do, it's years later. It's years down the line when they can be sure that they've really gouged everybody. And by the way, you can't get Hexfire anymore. I looked for it. I looked for Hexfire. I was going to bite the bullet and say, well, I need more Grey Knights anyway. But I won't buy it from Games Workshop. I'll buy it from somebody else. Nobody else had any. All right, okay, fair enough. So I go to Games Workshop itself, just on the off chance that they've got one, so I know that it's still being produced. Nope, not there anymore. Okay, fine. So then I go to, I go to Etsy, I go to eBay, and of course they're being sold on there for 150 pounds. Like, of course, of course, because the only people Games Workshop like are fucking scalpers. Those are the only people at Games Workshop do do anything for. This is the kind of thing that makes me really pray that 3D printing really ramps up over the next couple of years because we so desperately need it. This is the kind of bullshit that makes that makes me just realise, look, we're, we're really mistreated, we're really poorly handled, you know, it's just bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Um... I remember back in the day when a model would come out and it would come out on its own. Like, if, if Kalgar came out, he would come out on his own. Like, hey, there you go. Do you want Kalgar? There you go. Oh, do you want his honor guard as well? That's in the box too. Yeah, there you go. Cool. And you go into Games Workshop, you buy it and go, oh, I've got Marnie's Kalgar. Brilliant. And you go and paint him up. 
and, that, and that's what you did. It's this false rarity thing, and you, and you know it's on purpose. This has nothing to do with COVID. You know this is on purpose. You know? And I honestly think they're cutting their own nose off despite their face. They're creating a false rarity. The reason why Games Workshop will never ever do a sale is because they do not want their products to be associated with with not being niche and rare and cool, right? The minute you have a sale, all that stuff pretty much goes away, right? It no longer becomes hard to get. You get a sense of, and I quote, pride and accomplishment from simply buying the model. That's something that EA said about their own games, right? But it still works here. Games Workshop do it as well. You get a sense of pride and accomplishment from being the first to get that model in that box set. Never mind the fact that you don't want the other 95% of the box set. Go fuck yourself. Give us £80 for that £20 model that you that you, that you want, actually want. It's just... And the way that they dress it up as a saving, when they're the ones who make the prices, the way they dress it up as, oh, but look at all the models you get in that box set for, for what you get. Dude, you make... These models cost nothing to... And you make the prices. You basically pick a price out of thin air, is what you do. You're not our friend. You're not on our side. You're gouging us. You're you're taking money out of our wallets. Get your fingers out of my fucking wallet. And give me my Garen Crow model. On his own. In a box. For me to buy. For £25 or whatever it is. Right? Under £30 please. He's only one model. <clears throat> you know they're going to take the piss. You know he's going to come out, it's going to be 34 99 or 35 quid or 36 quid, something like that, for, for one model, you know? Just d stop taking the piss. It's all I'm saying. And they have to gall these people to announce price rises. They have to fucking gall these people to, to do something like that. When, there's, when there are models like this in the range that everybody wants who, who, plays, who plays Grey Knights... I know Space Marine players and Chaos players who want this model. Because of how cool the sword is. And how easy it is to chop off the bits that really, you know, make it really Grey Knighty. Just don't use his pauldrons and fill in a bits of his armour with, with, with some putty and you're done. You know? Take off a bit of the sword stuff, you're done. You're done. You can even have it being looted Grey Knight armour. You know, your Chaos Lord has this looted Grey Knight armour. Stick a load of spiky bits on there. Replace his pauldrons with Chaos pauldrons and... And have that really cool demonic sword. Everybody wants this model. If you collect Space Marines, you probably want this model. He looks so cool. But, you know, because Games Workshop want to make the extra bit of money, you are not allowed to have this model. I'm sorry. Unless you paid the £80 or £200 when it first came out, go fuck yourself. You're not having this model. And I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. This has bitten me now, and I wanted to wait to do a video on this until it actually bit me. But, um, sorry, tea break. Never mind tea break, I need fucking Horlicks at this point. But this is what they do to me. This is what they do. I spent all morning looking for this model. Banging my head against my desk. Like, where is it? Like, it's got to be here somewhere. They released it towards the end of summer last year. You know? It's got to be here somewhere. Nowhere. You cannot find it anywhere. Literally, you cannot find it anywhere. The only choice somebody like me has, and I want to support Games Workshop... I want to support the fact that they gave us this really cool model. I want to do that. I want to be a fan of you, Games Workshop. Let me be a fan of you. Let me buy your stuff, please. But no. But no. No. Apparently, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to, to do that. We've we just got to crack on with, you know, doing what we've always done for the, you know. It's just silly. It's just silly. Honestly. It really is silly. You know? You find one on eBay, it's £27, and, but you know it's going to go up to like £70, £80 for the single model. It's just horrible. It is horrible being a hobbyist if you are... If you are... You know, beholden to Games Workshop to get your models. It must be really, really horrible. Absolutely. Absolutely horrible. So th this bid, th this, this here... That I'm currently looking at it's the most reasonable thing that I found but it's 27 pound 92 uh, 22 and it's not gonna it's gonna run on until uh, 28th of Feb 
right? So you got another 10 days. You know that's going to go up to like 60, 70 pounds. And I'm not paying 60, 70 pounds for a single model once that's sized. I'm just not. It's, I'm just not happening, you know? I mean, this guy, by the way, this is very reasonable. The fact that he's, he's put it down here as like a, what, I think it was like a 20 pound starting bid. That's really reasonable. But it's not going to stay that way because everybody wants this model. But Games Workshop don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. Like, if you're, if you're somebody, <clears throat> there is a very good reason why Games Workshop do not put on um, any of these tutorials on how to get affordable models. The, the Games Workshop never come to you and say, hey, are you struggling this month? Okay, cool. Well, here's a cool thing that you can do. You can go to this store here or that store there and, you know, this model's available there, this model's available there, you know. You know, we're not doing price drops, but here's a cheaper alternative. If you want to, if you want Garen and Crow, if you want to make them yourself, why don't you buy this set? And it's cheaper than the Garen and Crow model when it comes out, and it's cheaper than Hexfire too. And you can convert it with these bits of green stuff. And da -da -da -da. Do they do tutorials like that? Do they bullshit? Because they're not interested in you. They don't give a shit about you. If you don't have that much money, I'm in a very lucky position right now where I've been working really hard, and I finally got myself to a point where I can go, do you know what? I'm going to drop some money with some models, you know? Just fuck it. I'm going to do it, right? There we go. I can't. I literally can't give them my money. They're not interested in me because they know six months down the line, you know, I, I might not have the same money again. They're only interested in whales. They're interested in people who they can milk constantly, week after week after week, getting money out of their wallet. Those are the only people Games Workshop catered to today are the people who bought the Hexfire box set the day it came out. The people who made sure that when they bought it, they no one else could get it. And you know what? In that group, scalpers are also there. And Games Workshop loves scalpers because they buy all of their stock and they make it even more rare. And they put these ridiculous prices on them because that makes Games Workshop stuff a pricey commodity. And it gives them... It gives them justification for keeping their prices the way they are. Games Workshop love scalpers. They love scalpers. They love it when people go online and put their models on for uh, exorbitant fees. Why? Because it gives them mystique. It gives them that panache of, ooh, it's a really valuable model. And so Games Workshop, hey, we're only charging £50 for this model. If you look on eBay, it's like £150, you know? We're, we're the good guys. They love scalpers, and no one can ever persuade me otherwise. They, they're not good guys. They're in, they're in league with the bad guys. They are in league with the bad guys. They love it. They love false rarity. They love it when people buy their models and and they they put them online for ridiculous fees. And listen, I'm pissed off because I want Games Workshop. If any of you are listening, and I know a few of you do, so just fucking listen to me i know you're on your work break i know you're on your work break i know you're on your lunch listen stop doing this stop it i wanted to give you money today and i would have gotten this model from games workshop itself if it was there at a reasonable price but not only is it not at a reasonable price it's not even there you're acting like you don't even make it anymore. Oh, you missed it? Sorry. Sorry. You didn't have the money at the time? Well, fucking get good, scrub. Because the only people we're interested in is fucking whales with more money to burn than cents. I am now a champion of 3D printing. You know, I, I, I've been teetering for a while. You know, I'm thinking, you know, what do I do? You know, do I, do I go all in on the 3D printing? Do I say, look, this is what it... It's not where I want it to be right now. Okay, it's not affordable for most people, and that's my problem with 3D printing. But at least, at least they're going in the right direction. At least I can see an end goal there, where they're going to say, "Hey, one day everybody's going to have 3D printers, and, and everyone's going to be okay." But for now, only us have it, and we will go on Etsy, and we'll give you cheaper models, and we'll make some money from it to pay for our equipment. Okay, okay, I trust the guy with the 3D printer. More than I trust Games Workshop. And that is a sorry state of affairs. That is an absolute sorry state of affairs. So, you know, to close the video, I, I wanted Garen Crow today. And I wasn't able to get him because Games Workshop think it's 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 too much effort to actually print him anymore. And if you're one of these people who 
have these armies that haven't been updated in years, I, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry this company has let you down. I'm really sorry this company has kicked you into the curb. All I can suggest is that you did you do exactly what I just did and ordered a really nice model from Etsy or a really nice model from anywhere else where you can get 3D printed models because a lot of them now if you if you pay for if you pay for it 10 15 20 pounds you're going to get a really nice character model. All right, it won't look exactly like Games Workshop but it'll be damn close. So um, my only problem with 3D printing, it's not available to everybody at home. And it won't be for the next 10, 15 years, for me. You know, I, I don't think everyone will have a 3D printer for the next 10, 15 years. And to make this company get off its fat ass and start treating its customers with some respect, it's going to take something like a seismic shift, like everybody now has access to 3D printers at home, for them to do that. Because they're, they're clueless. They're, they're brainless. They don't, have a, they don't have a fucking clue, right? So... I think we're about 10, 15 years away from that. I think we are. I think we're 10, 15 years away from that seismic shift. But I think 3D printing right now is filling an amazing void in the hobby. So, you know, all I can suggest, if, if, you're, if you're hankering for new models and you're not getting them, or whether they do bring out new models, they put them in ridiculously overpriced box sets and then just, like, nuke them off the face of the earth because fuck you, you didn't get it at the time, so we're going to punish you now. That's what it is. They're punishing you now. How dare you not give us money at the time? How dare you? No model for you, scrub. No model for you, peasant. Fuck you. Right, I'm done. Um, I'm going to drink my cup of tea and get on with some more recording. But, love you all long time. Um, what do you guys think about false rarity? Is it in any other sort of hobby that you know of? I, 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 don't, I don't really know of one, to be honest with you. Uh, but let me know. I know, I know artificial ones like the, like the GPU crisis and all that because the lack of uh, the lack of chips. But that's an external thing. It's not. This is Games Workshop choosing to make it rare, choosing to gouge your wallet, choosing to put you at the mercy of the scalping fucking scumbags. Ugh, that's my rant for the day. Love you a long time. See you soon.